Okay, good day. I posted some of my design last week and some people have been asking me how I was able to generate those designs from ChatGPT. I was surprised at how people are asking those questions because we all know that ChatGPT is not here to play. It's here to make our work easy. And I, as a designer, I tried to use ChatGPT to work fine with me and I was able to use it to create this design, this design, and this design. And today I'm going to be showing you how you can actually do that using just ordinary prompts. And this is going to help you and it's going to at least elevate little of your work. So follow me as I show you how to do that on your ChatGPT. It's going to be faster and easier if you are using a pro version. But if you are not using a pro version, you can actually use a free version, but it's going to take a longer while for you to generate. And if you are here and you want to subscribe for a pro version, you can send a DM to me and I will put you through to that or put it in the comment section and I will put you through to that. So let's dive into it. So first thing, let's, let's go to our ChatGPT. This is our ChatGPT over here and we are ready to ask for anything on, on our ChatGPT, but there is one thing that I want us to do first. A client messaged me on on WhatsApp, which is here, and she asked me for a flyer for her brand, and she gave me a sample of the design that she has been using before, which is this. She gave me this as a sample that I should redesign it, and I should make it look good. And she sent me this as well. She sent me this also. So today we are going to I'm going to copy the prompt and use it for ChatGPT to help me out. So I'll copy the, this and then head over to my ChatGPT and I will input them here. So I write my prompt which is design a board. I said design a board and modern kitchen flyer for a business named Bear Kitchen with, tag, with the tagline every bite tells a story. Use a split layout which means it should separate into two. Left side should have a magenta to paint gradient background with text. Since since a color mode is magenta and white, so I asked ChatGPT to use the pink and the pink and magenta gradients for me. The right side should feature high quality food images. I want it to have images so which which include fried rice, chicken, crispy fried chicken, and decorative cookies and cream cake with pink icing drip. So then inside the body of the design, inside the body of design, I said include this text section on the left side, header which is our services in a bottom style magenta background, services list bullet points, two columns, cakes, meals, small chops, soups, banana bread, snacks, other services include, there should be another se section which talks about the other services that she's doing, which is yogurt, tiger nut, zobo, and they are all available for occasion. So, and then the bottom section should have her phone number and her address. So, and I said style, I want a clean professional modern vibrant food team, use white board sans serif fonts, include soft shadow and slice decorative dot pattern for a stylish touch, for a stylish touch. So, we are going to now say, Follow these prompts. Act as a prompt engineer and optimize these prompts in a in a better way for me to get a better Result. So, after you send the prompts, you should wait for it to load. Okay, now that we have the beta and optimized image generation approach for catering flyer design. So, ChatGPT said design a bold modern flyer for your catering business called Bear with the tagline. Use a split layout design, left side, right side. So, it's going to give us like a breakdown of how our prompt will be. So what you are just what you just need to do now is just to copy the prompt. Then we paste it here. So after pasting it, the next thing to do is just to send the prompt. So let's wait for charging it to generate the image for us with ease. It's going to take a longer time on your system than how it's going to take on your phone. So now we have this prompt, we have this image that is generated for us. 
So when we have this image, let's view the image and see what we have. This is the image that has been generated from ChatGPT with is. So all what you just need to do is just to make a little adjustment. Which to me, this one is okay for me. I can actually go with this. You can see the alignment is also perfect. If you check from this case, but if you don't know about design, I will say that you won't be able to do most of these things because you have to know how to work with a design, how to do a design before you say you are going to be doing a design with ChatGPT, so that you will know what is best for you and how good it's going to be. If you see a design online, let me say if you find a design online, the best thing to do to get a prompt for it is just to upload a design. After you upload a design, it should be able to. After you upload the design, you should just type to ChatGPT to give you a prompt that work fine with that. Like, give me a prompt that can actually give me this exact design, so you will get your prompt. So you can actually edit the prompt to anything that you want to design on again at that particular time, and everything is going to be fine and is going to be okay with you. So I will be waiting for you on the comment section. And I will be sending the prompt also. I will be tagging the prompt at the comment section. Do where to copy the prompt and use it anyhow you want to use it. See you. Don't forget to subscribe and like for more videos like this. See you.